Greetings, this is Daniel Tal from Placemaker, and I am going to review Placemaker for Revit over the next series of videos and show you the different ways you can use it, how it works in general, and the credit system to import in all the 3D data into Revit. I'm going to demonstrate and talk about the aerial data sets that we have that you can import using Placemaker into Revit. I have the Placemaker tab open here in Revit. I'm going to go to Import Imagery. Here's my box. We have two data sets here, Mapbox and Nearmap. Mapbox provides universal global coverage to whatever resolution is available, depending on locations. Nearmap is available, has available aerials for United States, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia, and other areas are coming along. Nearmap offers super high resolution areas up, up to seven centimeters, if not even closer in terms of ground, ground viewing distance. And, and Mapbox actually has a great set of aerials um, as well for urban locations. So Nearmap really provides for urban locations, locations that have high density of populations. So not so much the rural and some suburban locations. And that's why we have Mapbox to fill in those gaps and also the global coverage with Mapbox. Mapbox as well also has very good coverage for urban locations. Um, and it's also worth mentioning that Nearmap reruns or recaptures locations often. So you're, you, you're getting very recent imagery for locations when you're using Nearmap. So those are the two options. We are always adding additional aerial data set providers so stay tuned for that. We're gonna have different aerials potentially for lots of different locations around the world offering things that Mapbox and Nearmap don't offer in terms so we can increase the overall coverage area and provide a greater amount of options for users depending on their place. I'm gonna actually select Nearmap and I can choose the zoom level. If I go low, it's less credits. If I go max, it uses a maximum number of credits for the number of tiles I have here. I'm gonna do high and I'm gonna click and it says use most recent data. So it's gonna go through and find the most recent aerial images from Nearmap's data set. I'm gonna click save plus import and select the topo here. It's gonna bring up my credit box. So I'm importing in 25 tiles for this location. It's going to cost me 125 credits. We do have a pay-as-you-go system, which is what I'm using right here. We also have a subscription service, and the subscription service actually offers reduction in, in credit costs for some of the data sets. I talk about that in a separate video. I'm going to click confirm my order, and it'll take it about 30 seconds or so for Placemaker to import and place all the images. Here we have the imported aerial. I'm going to zoom in. And again, there was an even higher level of resolution I could have brought into this. But I just wanted to show typical how well this actually works. And that's what you can do with, with using Placemaker for Revit and importing in these super high quality aerials for your projects.